said, y'all, I would like to check and see my layaway still there. They said, well, somebody came by and paid for it and waiting for you to come pick it up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Come on now, he be already Amen. got it paid. Amen. Y'all can't believe that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. See, this is what he, he trying you to see you. Once you see you and begin to accept changes, then he can start multiplying you. So they didn't know he had to get them in position to be able to know who God is. <laughs> All right? <laughs> oh, I like that. May need to know that man doesn't. You, you don't do, you, you, you can't do nothing. Come on. Does not live. He let you know you don't live by this. Bread. Bread. You don't live by bread. Yeah. He said you does not live by bread only. Uh oh, only. What you living by? Only. Only. Get the word only in. You do not live by bread only. You don't. You right. don't live by that. Only. 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 Get that. Remember. If you eat a sandwich now, three hours later, <laughs> you hungry again. Amen. So you can't live by natural stuff. He said, I will, you never be thirsty, you never be hungry. My God. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God does man live. That's how you live. Through his word. He created you through the word. So if I'm created through the word, that's how I'm living. Yes. I'm going to show you something. You don't drink water in three days. Mm -hmm. <coughs> three days, you be dehydrated. Because the dirt start drying and the spirit is the wall. Mm -hmm. Amen. Y'all quiet? Amen. Amen. <laughs> but you're living by it. Amen. You can't live natural. No. That's just the nourishment to keep your body going natural. But you live more through the spirit. That's where your lifespan come from so you can survive in this world till he come back and get you. It's through the spirit. Amen. All right, stay sick and drop down into 12, 14. I'm going to show you. Let me get back to I lost my pay. I got caught up in the word. Okay. Got caught up. Let me get back on this 16. I want you to still drop down. I still want you to talk. I want to go to 12, 16. I'm still at the exit of 16. I got two and three. Did I? Okay, I want to stay there. But I want to go over there to 12 and 14 verse. I want you to read 12 and 14. I'm going to show you something in the same chapter, but the same. I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel speak unto them, saying, At evening ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread. Okay, before you go there, did I, I, I want to go, can't go back to 2 and 3. I got to go there first while I get to 16. Okay. I got to break that. I want y'all to see what our problem is. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. So they begin to what? Murmur. Mama in the wilderness. Now then what we do? Murmur. <laughs> we mama in our wilderness. Whatever condition we in. If we ain't crying. <laughs> Come on. We trying to find somebody to give us an answer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm worried with us. I said, if I want somebody to pray with me, I can't get nobody. Mm -hmm. If I get on the phone, somebody to go. <laughs> 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 I can't find nobody. 
You know what I said? Lord, you don't want me talking to nobody but you. Come on. So when you in the wilderness, you need to go to him. Not start mumbling to somebody else. <laughs> they start mumbling in their willingness. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. I ain't saying that about not talking, but at the time, don't talk to somebody else first before you talk to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. In your willingness. So they mumbling against Moses and Aaron in the willingness. All right, the where's it said? And the children of Israel said unto them, Would to God we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt. So they didn't appreciate it. Now they want, if you should have loved, we should have died in Egypt. We begin to what? Get angry with God. Get mad with God. We pour our thing at. If it wasn't. <laughs> We saw our mom. This is what they did. They said, "Now nah, we were. They wanted to stay in Egypt. When this stuff started happening, we started complaining. I would bail off. I stayed out there in, this, in the street. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lord, else would say, when we sat by the flesh pot, they were looking at their meat. I, I would bail off in the street. I had more in the street than I do now." <laughs> Don't we say that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. And when we did eat bread to the full. So when we ate it, baby, we were full. Mm -hmm. High. <laughs> I was full. <laughs> All right, come on. For ye have brought us forth into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. See that we never finished now. Mm -hmm. See, they, they want to come out of the wilderness. And God got them in the wilderness camp to a problem like he trying to get Egypt out of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes God trying to get Egypt out of you before you go into, into your promised land. Because if he don't get it out of you, you're going to get that same mess over into your promised land. And then you're going to terminate that. Mm -hmm. Amen. A lot of folk get married or whatever. Both of y'all bags. Mm -hmm. If now one of them dropped them bad, what you did? You kill them all over in your willingness. And so time he scratched his head the wrong way, or she scratched her the wrong way. Them fights. Them fights. Them fights. Them fights. Them fights. Them fights. Them so he trying to say, I'm putting you in your promised land. Now, I don't want you to carry that mess over there. Amen. Come on. Amen. That's why he said, I want you clean. So when you go over there, you can enjoy. Mm -hmm. oh, Amen. But sometimes I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> You can't enjoy something if you got the same mentality. I never given out to Mika came up here. And I told her, I said, Mika, you come here, you can make it. I said, but you can't care what you got in Alabama up here, the Kansas City. She didn't hear nothing I said, did she, Michelle? Amen. Michelle hanging with her. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle quickly quit hanging too. <laughs> And that's my granddaughter. And I told her, come up with the same my talent you got down there. Yeah. And I'll be dog. <laughs> she come right up in with that same my talent. You know where she at now? Back in Alabama. Alabama. Amen. You cannot carry your stuff over in another relationship. I don't care who it is until you get here. You can't go and marry somebody else, date somebody else, if you still got that past hurt. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And the time he do something you thought was near what that other one done, you'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> People don't want to face the truth about it. Yeah, true. Amen. 
Somebody hurt you in that and you get involved with somebody you can't ask to rat on with you into that relationship and you folk you you won't be with that man three months for you. What happened? Well, uh, he he just, just a dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ain't said nothing about what you gonna do. <laughs> yeah. Amen. It's the same thing with a man. Yeah. Come on. I just use I ain't gonna pick on my brother. You know, folks say I pick on men too much, but I ain't picking on no man. I'm trying to help us. I'm helping the sisters as well as the brothers. Because we all got issues. Deep issues. I mean, some of us got some deep stuff. Yes, ma'am. And he be trying to dig it out. Sometimes the Holy Ghost has to take a knife and go. You know how you take an album and you cut the coal out? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. He had to cut the coal out. So it won't come back. Amen. So they just start, Mama, they just have to have some meat. They, they just, I just got to have. All right, we're going to look over there at 14 and uh, 12 and 14. Let's, let's see what, what they say. You know, they did just oh, God, we're going to kill them. Let's look see what happened in verse 12. I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel speaking to them, saying, At even ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread. And ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. Now he heard what they said. He said, I'm going to get what you want. I'm going to give you the flesh. God heard them mom and so to Moses and Aaron. He told Moses, tell him I'm going to give him the flesh. I'm going to give you that. That's up. My God, I hear the Holy Ghost. Sometimes God will just give you that. He's trying to tell you not to bother. He'll let you go ahead and do it anyway. Seems like you just worried so bad for it, Lena. He said, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you from it, Lena, but you mom and so, I, and you complaining so to me, keeping me from killing you, I'm just going to give it to you. <laughs> so he gave it to him. He gave him to me. Now look what else he said. I, I'm going to give you the, oh uh, my, see, but he, he added a separation time. And any you shall eat flesh. He told me anytime you eat flesh. And what? And in the morning? You shall be filled with bread. You shall be filled with bread. And you shall know that I am the Lord your and God. You're going to know that I am the Lord thy God. All right, come on. And it came to pass. It came to pass. That at even the quails came up. The quails came in the evening time, like he said up there. And covered the camp. And covered the camp. They were planting meat out there. Boy, he put it out there. Didn't he? he put it out there. You can't help the miss. You can't miss what I put out there. Fuck it because you want it so bad. Mm. Um, I think I see him now that mom would probably just greasy just running. Yeah. You know? mm. <laughs> All right, come on. And in the morning, the dew lay round about the host. Okay, the dew laid around about the host. What will happen? And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoar frost on the ground. And that was the man. <laughs> he still put what I'm trying to get you to see. He'll let you do whatever you want to do, but he still will do what he said. Mm -hmm. So you bow with what? Do what he said. Do what he said. He, they had to go through the consequences, and God still did what he said. When he said something he's going to do for you, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. But it's in you having the patience to endure what he's trying to do to you to get what he want to give you. It ain't the way you're going to get it. So stop mom. <laughs> stop crying. Amen. Amen. Ooh, my God. Y'all see that? Amen. All Amen. right, let's let's go to Numbers. Oh my God, I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna try. Numbers, eleven, one through seven. Let me show y'all something else. And when the people complain, it displeased the Lord. So it displeased God when you start what? 
And he said, who said? Lord Jesus. Now you want to know how he feel. He be displeased when you start complaining. All right. And what he did. And the Lord heard it. And his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the utmost parts of the camp. See what he did? He started telling <laughs> He'll start consuming. He gets so upset with us sometimes, you just won. You go through stuff a little more hard. <laughs> Come on now. Amen. When you both and got out of that thing about three weeks ago, yes. he get upset with you let you stay in it about four more weeks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of us stay in stuff a year. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because he done got angry with you, that's chastising time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chastise you, baby. When you come out of this, you won't, you ain't gonna mama on the next round. You gonna start saying thank you, thank you, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. All right, come on. And the people cried unto Moses, and when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. Moses in the sea for and in the fire quenched. God, Jesus, I mean, God led up off of him. Come on. And he called the name of the place Tabira, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. Yeah, the fire burned. Look, they gave him a name. <laughs> All right, come on. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell and lusting. And the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? See what we do. We start going through stuff. Instead of us seeking God and standing in position, we start falling into other stuff. We start trying to find other things to please us. Trying to please our flesh. God told you don't go over there and kick that dough down. What you do? <laughs> and you go kick that dough down. That's pleasing you. It didn't prosper you nothing. It pleased you. He said, I don't want you to kick it, I kick it. <laughs> Because when I kick it, you're going to see some results. Amen. See, this is what he's trying to show the children there. They still mom, they want that meat. Yeah. I want it. Mm -hmm. I want it. I want it to the point I'm coming after you. Mm -hmm. The flesh desires so much leading to it begin to destroy people yeah. for what they want. My flesh wasn't so bad, I come over your house and I take it from you. This is what done happened. Hallelujah. And, and they, they wanted that bad. What happened? We remember the fish, which we did eat in Egypt freely. And they never come out of that Egypt, my time. They came out of Egypt, but they still had the, the Egypt mortality. Come on. We still have the mortality. We we come out of stuff, but our, our, our mind don't change. I, I, I'm using relationship to match with this. You begin to dump. How can I put it? You won't change your mindset on the relationship. This person ain't like that other person you went with. But you saw with the same mindset. This is how you talk to daddy the same way you talk to him, but that ain't him. Suddenly you ever got married with somebody and you call them the name that you were really mad with. Amen. Oh, Amen. I know you did. I don't care that you tell a lie. I know you lied. Amen. Amen. That's right. Yes, Amen. You be arguing so bad and you marry I call them the name that you really were arguing. You were arguing at that person, but you mm -hmm. thought you but you were fussing at him. We do that. Mm -hmm. I did. I was talking to somebody I called Ben name. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know I did. And I know y'all didn't like me. I don't need y'all tell you. Y'all can't tell me to me. Yeah, yeah, you're fooling yourself, and I see it all over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so true. Oh. My mindset haven't totally changed. Mm -hmm. My lips said, I don't want no more. 
I don't see it no more. Get out of my way. Leave me alone. I'm talking to it, you know. Yeah. Mother, you know what I'm talking about. It don't seem like nobody else here. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know what's going on. They don't know. They still young, you know. <laughs> me and you up in age, so they, we know what we're talking about. <laughs> Mindset haven't totally change. changed. So I'm still eating on being fish, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but Amen. Lord Jesus, y'all. I'm trying to get y'all straight like me. Amen. And where that left? The cucumbers. Oh, the, I put my side on the cucumbers, you know. Ooh, I love some cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Put some ranch dressing with it, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else? And the melons. Oh, I love melon too. Put some salt on a little black pepper. Ooh, nah. What and else? the leeks. And oh, Lord, and what? And the leeks. And the leeks, what else? And the onions. Oh, yes, I do. Put some onions on that salad. <laughs> and the garlic. A little garlic on that meat when you put in that stove and bake it and brown this blood. I take that ball and say, <laughs> Come on now, y'all y'all don't see probably they don't want to fade reality. I don't see something y'all eat. Y'all hear me down that bone gonna be sly. <laughs> All right, what happened? But now our soul is dried away. Mm -hmm. There is nothing at all <laughs> beside this manna before our eyes. See, wasn't that God? Wasn't that before, but said what? Manna. Look what we do. But now our soul is what? Dry away. <laughs> all right. We are dried away because we want the onions and the garlic. We want the salad. <laughs> we don't want the man. We don't want the man without me. The man, we don't want the word. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want the word because they don't want to change. Mm -hmm. But it finds you drying up. Mm -hmm. You find people unhappy because they're not living what? The word. Yeah. That's why they act the way they act because they don't allow the word to become the nutrient that they need. That they're like a uh, car. If you don't put enough oil in that car, it locks up the motor, don't it? Amen. 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 And that's what happened to us. We lock up. Yes, true. Amen. We locked up. Mm -hmm. Something else come out of us, Cameron. You know, that beast come out. That's mm -hmm. true. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> the first creation God created was beasts. Yeah. The animal. Yeah. He didn't create man first. No. Some of us got some tiger in us. Oh yes we do. Yes, yes we, we do. do. Amen. Some of us got tigers in us. Mm. That tiger spirit, I'll fight you, I'll fight you, I'll fight you here. Mm. Some of us got a cat spirit, I'll scratch your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Amen. Amen. Some of us are snakes. Mm. Yeah, let me get a smile. Mm. Close. <laughs> I'm a bitch. Amen. Come on. <laughs> And, so, yeah. and, the, and the manna was as coriander seed, and the color thereof as the color of the dew. See, you now you look at this bread, and we're using the manna. Look, it got seeds in it. Mm -hmm. Now, folks, I hadn't opened the pack. I don't even know how this bread tastes. You know why I ain't got it? Because I'm looking at the seed. I don't know what it tastes like. Come on, y'all. This is <laughs> the cherry in the ear. I want y'all to look. It got seeds. It camera is some kind of grain seeds. So I don't know how this bread is going to taste. So I ain't tracked it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it in the freezer. Every time I minutes I need to use, I take it out. <laughs> oh, my. Amen. Y'all just woo. I said, I'm going to leave it here in the kitchen in the refrigerator. <laughs> 
Cause I'm looking at what it look like. It might be good bread, but I will do it. I like to save a lot of bread. You know, want the bread. <laughs>